Hey, <laughs> decided to do a surprise intro. Hey, I'm going to do a quick Bible study here. Um, it's more of a talk, but Bible study. And uh, I realized that some of my videos, like the guitar ones, will get like a couple hundred video views. And then my Bible study ones will get like 10. But you know what? It's all worth it. If 10 people see them, woohoo! Awesome. Uh, so in short, we always want people to treat us the way that we want to be treated. But a lot of times we don't end up treating people the way that they want to be treated. Even though we think we're the ones that should be treated the way we want to be treated. But anyway, case in point. So Jesus has the Pharisees bring him a woman who was caught in adultery. She was caught in adultery. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, like they saw her go into this guy's house, whatever it is, shack. <laughs> and they, you know, they kept eyes on him or whatever. And then they drug her out, probably partially clothed or whatever. But she was literally caught in the act of adultery. And in that day and age, a woman caught in the act of adultery could get stoned to death and most likely did get stoned to death. This case, they bring her before Jesus trying to entrap him by seeing what he would say. Uh, and Jesus says, those of you without sin cast the first stone. And no one in that group could cast the first stone because none of them were without sin and her her sin she was due the death penalty her sin was was in that day and age in that society uh, having sex outside of marriage was a death sentence we're talking a horrible crime in their society and there are a lot of people today that commit crimes and um, or they do really bad things to us, but yet we don't want to forgive them. And it's not our job to be judge and juror. It's not our job to, but they did this to me. They did that to me. They did this and that and that and that. Remember, if you're in the same situation and you did something to somebody and you felt bad and because you knew you did something wrong and you wanted them to forgive you, but they didn't. Keep that in mind. Jesus, being perfect, didn't have to worry about whether he needed forgiveness or not. He granted forgiveness to this woman who didn't deserve it. She was guilty of the crime. She was had a death sentence over her head. And Jesus said to her, where are the people who are accusing you? Where are they at? And basically she's like, uh, there's no one here. And he says, neither do I hold you guilty to your sin. I, you know, he basically says, I forgive you. Now walk away from your sin. And I think that's what we need to remember uh, is we need to forgive those people who have sinned against us. But we also need to remember that when we sin against somebody else, um, we want that same forgiveness, right? So uh, keep that in mind the next time somebody offends you, because uh, they're going to. Keep that in mind when somebody wrongs you, because they're going to. Keep that in mind when someone is deserving of a punishment. It's not ours to grant forgiveness. It's not, I'm sorry, <laughs> it is ours to grant, to forgive, but it's not ours to be judge and juror. It's ours to be loving and compassionate. Uh, and this is not me saying that you shouldn't take care of yourself and that you shouldn't get out of a bad situation. Don't mislead, uh, mistake my words, but we are told to, do, to forgive uh, those who have wronged us. And it even goes to this extent. Jesus says that if you don't forgive, God won't forgive you. 
big time. So uh, keep that in mind. Thank you. God bless. I love you guys. Bye.